Step 4. Experimental demonstrations. We've spent two lessons talking about delegated quantum computation and how to hide the client's information um, in the abstract and theoretical sense. Now it's time to actually look at some experiments that were carried out in order to confirm that it works. So some of the BQC protocols that we have introduced in the last few steps have been demonstrated experimentally. The PFK protocol demonstration was the first one. Here, the client could prepare four qubit photonic cluster states. So not a full brickwork state. But as we will see in a few slides time, this is not a problem. Uh, the demonstration showed that the client can hide one qubit as well as two qubit gates. And in fact, the authors of the work were able to run blind Deutsch's and Grover's algorithms. This particular experiment was carried, carried out in Vienna by uh, Stefanie Bars and her collaborators. Another experimental demonstration that was done also in Vienna was on the measurement-only protocol of Morimae and Fuji. Here again, the server prepared a 4-qubit photonic cluster state, which was then sent to the client. And the experimental work was able to demonstrate both blindness as well as integrity of the data. The experiment was carried out by Creganti and her collaborators. Now, both of these experiments were done only in a lab setting. That means a quantum network was not really necessary to run these applications. But still, this is a tremendous experimental achievement and the first building block to uh, actually achieving it also in the field and using quantum networks. In this step, we're only going to look at the first demonstration of the BFK protocol. So this is how it worked. But first, we said that we need a brickwork state in order to uh, execute the BFK protocol. So how does the 4-qubit cluster state generated in the experiment fit into this picture? Well, we can realize that a linear 4-qubit cluster state forms a building block of the brickwork state. Here's our brickwork state, which we have seen many times in the previous steps. And look, for example, these qubits over here these qubits over here, that's our basic building block. We don't need to keep the uh, cluster state linear in that shape. We can also bend it into a horseshoe and put it over there, over here, and over here. And this way, if we have these building blocks, we can connect them together and build a larger, the full brickwork state. In the experiment, this is not what happened. All the hiding and the blindness were demonstrated only with this four qubit uh, cluster state. So let's see how that was done. Despite the simplicity of the 4-qubit cluster state, the work was actually able to produce very nice and very different quantum computations. In particular, single-qubit unitary was achieved in the following way. The client prepared the following states, 1, qubit 1, 2, 3, and 4, which were then entangled by the server into a 4-qubit linear cluster state. Here, at the bottom, these angles theta, theta 1, 2, 3, and 4, are the client's secret angles used during qubit preparation. They're used to hide the information, both of the input as well as later during the computation. And the angles at the top, delta 1, delta 2, delta 3, these are the angles that the client is communicating to the server, please measure at these angles. Again, these angles are trying to hide the initial preparation as well as the computation. If you notice, we've got these theta 1 and theta 4 initialized to 0. This was a nice optimization introduced in this experimental work. So, if we follow the following measurement pattern, we measure the first qubit at angle delta 1, second qubit at delta 2, and the last qubit at delta 3. In effect, what we're doing is the following uh, computation represented in the quantum circuit form, where we initialize the qubit in the plus state, and then we rotate around the z-axis by uh, angle minus phi 1. Phi 1 uh, and phi 2 and phi 3 are, are, are the client's desired angles representing the computation that the client is trying to execute. By measuring the second qubit uh, in the xy plane at the angle of delta 2, we execute the rotation around the x-axis by an angle of minus phi 2, and by measuring the third qubit at an angle of delta 3, we execute another z rotation by an angle of minus phi 3. Because we are able to execute 
uh, or apply unitary rotations around the z and x-axis and the z again, we are in effect applying an arbitrary rotation of, uh, of the block sphere. And then the experiment showed that if the server is trying to find out information about the state that it's computing on, it cannot do it because the states received by the server uh, were shown to be uh, maximally mixed state by performing a full state tomography. Two qubit uh, unitary was also applied to the four qubit um, photonic cluster state in the following way. This way, um, the four qubits were treated as two logical qubits, meaning it was bent into a horseshoe. So the first two qubits represent a logical qubit one, and the qubit qubits three and four were representing a logical qubit two. So qubits two and three were treated as the input. They were hidden with the angles theta two and theta three, and instructed to be measured by at the, at the angles of delta two and delta three. In the quantum circuit model, really what this pattern of measurements achieved was the following computation. We had the input of two plus states, we apply the C phase gate between them, and then to each qubit we apply a rotation around the Z axis, but at different angles. And again, the experiment showed that if the server is trying to find out any information, then um, it cannot do it. Mm, full state tomography reveals that the state of the two qubits is a maximally mixed state, I tensor I divided by four. This way, um, the authors were able to show the basic building blocks of the BFK protocol.